forgot that I'm the talent on video. I yeah. know, I know. <laughs> I know. So, funny. how is your character adjusting to life after the military? Because some people have a hard time leaving it behind and reacclimating into society. Right. Um, I would say Sophie is. She's doing her best because the thing is, I mean, of course, being in military school, that's got its own, you know, dramas and and there's there's so much going on just in of itself. But the fact that she had this secret relationship with Kate at the military school and because of things that were in place at the time, they couldn't continue their relationship. So that in of itself definitely has worked on Sophie's psyche, if, I, if, if that's a good word to say. But now she's with the Crows, she's right underneath Jacob Kane, and she's just pushing through. Will you have a lot more flashbacks of the Academy? Yes, they're, um, I'm actually really excited to say that because, see, so yeah, you get a little bit of it in the pilot, which is, you know, the first episode, um, but yeah, later on in the season, you're going to get so many more flashbacks of that whole world, and you're going to understand why it went down the way that it did, because the thing with Kate and Sophie is, you know, one went along with what the military said, the other one didn't, and so you'll see exactly why that happened. Are there going to be any, like, crossovers with other, um, shows on CW? There will definitely be some crossovers, but I don't know which ones and who or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything at all. Yeah. What do you like about it? About Sophie? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I don't want to get all teary-eyed. I, <laughs> I, I, I really genuinely feel that I am telling someone's story. I feel like so many women will be able to relate to Sophie because the thing is, you know, of course, you know, she's a very strong woman. She's very capable. She's highly trained, um, but she's also got such like the sweetest heart, and and it's just a very real story. So I just love that there's a strong woman, but it's not just like oh, she's strong. She's also got that soft side too. So she's the best of both worlds. So I love that. Can you talk a little bit about? She she also has a lot of conflicts mm -hmm. not in her life. Can you talk about some of those conflicts? between the past and her present, uh, her career ambition and her um, you know, wanting to do what's right. Yes. You know? Yeah, so her career ambition, I would say she's definitely doing what she wants to do. Like being right underneath Jacob Kane is absolutely huge. Um, however, she did, had it not been for the decision that she had to make in military school, she may not have been able to do what she did. And that conflict in of itself is what people will go along the journey of and see and discover why she made that decision with Kate because that literally is what informed her being able to be with the Crows. Um, but she's had to deal with a lot of things, you know, especially being a, a black woman who's LGBTQ who, um, and, and having to accept that. You know, she may or may not be accepting of it yet, but you know, Kate's back in town, so who knows? Did you put me up to the role by reading the comic books and uh, you know, actually learning through comic books? Yes, yeah, so I, I did read the, because I think the, uh, ours is based off of the Elegy, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yes, yes The Elegy did. version, okay. Yes. Um, but the thing with Sophie is she wasn't in the comics that much, because in the story, you know, we split up after military school and then Kate goes on to, I think she has two other relationships, but in the CW's depiction of it, Sophie has a more prominent um, role in the story, so what's been cool about that is this is kind of like my first time, like it's the first time for everyone to be able to see a Sophie more in the Batwoman world, so my only research was just that little bit in the comics and now it's just whatever I'm putting up, so yeah, the research I'm learning on the job, yeah. So is there any kind of art that that they were explained to you for her this season, or you're just going along as the scripts come in? Yes, um, hmm, I'm trying to think what I can answer. Um, yeah, you're just gonna, the main focus with Sophie for season one is just you're gonna watch her just deal with this struggle of having Kate King back in town, but also, I mean, she's in a relationship herself, so now she's gotta figure out well, what do I do with this? You know, because she, she, there's so many different struggles. It's like, well, if I if I let this go and I go with Kate, what does that mean for her job? Because with her, it's always been about, you know, you got to work, you got to go to school, you got to do your thing. And so, getting with Kate might get in the way of that. So the arc is just watching her struggle, and then what ends up happening, you'll just have to see. All right. What kind of uh, what kind of training do you have to put in for the physicality? Oh my gosh, that is yeah, yeah. the the training is so much fun. That that's like the best part. We have a wonderful. Um, stunt training team, they literally take us to the side every other week, if you will, and we just do all these training classes with, um, we do boxing, like I actually know how to drop kick somebody right <laughs> nice. now, That's it awesome. is so much fun, but um, 
And I love that physical stuff, so yeah, it's the best. And did but you start that training like before filming and stuff, or it's kind of um, Some of the mixed. stuff I actually had already kind of done, because um, I, I came from Teen Wolf, where there was a lot of stuff going on on there, but um, getting into like the nitty gritty of it, um, I got to actually experience it from the pilot. Yeah. What's the most challenging uh, stunt that you've done so far? Um, they wanted me to flip a guy over my over my shoulder. In fact, I think you actually see it in the pilot, but it actually ended up being my stunt double, Rochelle Okoye, because it's actually really, really hard. Because you're taking that person's weight, and like you're not supposed to just like do this. You gotta like pop your butt up, and yeah, I, I didn't do too well. So yeah, Rochelle took it over. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. It was nice.